Oh, yo, that dude got his face shredded right away. Okay, so we're continuing on with our animal fights. And we did gorillas and then we did bears. And now we're moving on to another large mammal, which is the lion. Super interested in seeing what we can draw from natural fighting, right? What the animals know that we may have lost in our complex systems of grappling and, and striking, where I'm much more interested in this for grappling purposes. I think that animals don't seem to strike each other as much, they bite, right? So there, a lot of who is gonna get the best bite is determined by who wins the grappling exchanges. And obviously they have claws and stuff too, but it, it's, a, it's a little bit different than striking. I feel like it's a lot more like grappling. So let's see what happens in this lion fight. Whoa, okay, so just runs right up, and right away they're trying to get over each other. Okay, crazy grip, one's on the ground. Oh, yo, that dude got his face shredded right away. Okay, thank God for the slow-mo. Boom, comes up, gets over. He had both his pars over. Other dude had an underhook, grabbed him and turned him, but then seemed to end up getting the worst of it. How did that happen? I want to see the other angle. Okay, so we see there's like a, an overhook right there. There was an overhook. He's using that arm to try to pull the head down more. And maybe that's what gave him the angle to attack the side of the face. Because this dude, look, he's, he's clean faced. Oh, right there. It was that right there. Big right hand to a face chomp. Oh, that's nasty, boy. Right here when he comes up, look at this. Bang, right to the nose, and then bang, bite down right on the top of the nose. Savage. But it all comes from getting over, right? It all comes from getting over. Who can be higher? I think that's important. Ooh, look at that face, man. Just shredded. It cannot be fun. Look, his legs shredded too. Looks like some claws got in there. Man, it's got to be real difficult to be a lion and scrap. Oh, here's another one. Okay, oh, damn. Man, it happens so fast. I need a slow-mo. Oh man, and yeah, all the female lions are getting in on it too, just trying to nip at their butts. Oh, just big bite right there. Oh, look, she's trying to bite his junk off. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, are they getting tired? Gassing out, and he's like, no, I'm done. No, I'm not done, coming back around, boy. I think it's interesting how the, how the girls jump in, man. Ooh. Oh, we're on the side of the face. Okay, let's let's bring that back. Let's bring that back. What's going on here? Okay, so first of all, slow motion is the best thing on YouTube for figuring out what the heck is actually happening. Okay, so they decided they're coming. To, they're gonna fight. It looks like both of them are down to down to scrap, right? Uh, the 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 women are not happy about it. They're gonna try to protect their man. As a woman, I would say probably not as a woman, but for women out there, probably don't get involved. If there's two guys scrapping, that's a bad idea because it escalates everything times like a hundred um, just for the real world applications. If there's two dudes scrapping, don't try to get in the middle because if you try to get in the middle and save your boyfriend and then you get punched, the escalation could, could really spike it, it, it'll, it'll make, it could make it way worse than, than it would be otherwise. So um, don't be like the female lions here and try to bite the junk off. All right, boom. So right away, it's like, who can get up higher? The lion on the left here looks like he's getting over faster. Whoop, they come up together, okay? And they tie up with their arms too. Now it looks like the top guy has top control, right? Call that like an overhook. He's got over the arm. And then uh, the lion on the right here has the underhook. I don't know exactly what's going on on the other side, but we can definitely see that this is an underhook and the other one is an overhook. Which one comes out with that? It looks like the overhook one. I'm not sure if that was more to do with what the arms were doing or if it was more to do with where the bite happened. Uh, boom. So looks like, just like the bear video, the lion on the left here had, had his body aligned behind the bite on the same side. Okay, like head in the pocket, plus the overhook, pulls the other guy down, now has an angle. Oh, and we see reversal here. So the other lion came out and over, and now he's up above, and now he's got the bite on the neck with his body lined up behind it. Also looked like he had the overhook. Yep, 
and boom, he looks like he's twisting, right? He's bringing him down and twisting, flipping him to his side. Okay, nice takedown and attack. Oh, and the women are pissed. It's like, no, I know that if you win, you're going to kill my kids, and I cannot have that. So they're just trying to chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, man. But this guy's getting attacked, too. Now they've both turned their attention towards the uh, the females and are like, get out of here. I don't, I would really understand, want to understand the context of this fight would be interesting. Like whose pride is it, right? Is it, is it the lion on the right that has, is the king of this pride and this group of, of females or is it the lion on the left, right? Because they both seem to be attacking the females that were attacking them. So what in the heck does that mean? I don't understand that behavior. Oh, and just while he's distracted, look at that, right? He leaves this one alone and is like, boom, right to the neck. Boom, right away. And bite on the side over top with the angle. Where does this lead? Ooh, to the ground, bro. Leads to the ground. Cats are really cool though, how they can twist and turn to stop themselves from flipping over. Really, really interesting. Maybe one day we'll do a video on that as well. I did a bit of a, a study on like, not a study, but I was a study. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I'm um, talking about how cats can flip over, right? In the air, like how they always land on their feet. And I thought like that might be useful for takedown defense. I haven't made it work yet, but I, I, I think there's something there. Okay, so who's on top, dominating. And then this one came in from the side. Right, this one came in from the side trying to bite his ass. And this one looks like he's getting chewed, his paws chewed on by this, by this female over here. And now look what happened, right? He was getting bit on the ass from the side and now he's turned his, his attention away from the, the real threat to deal with this female lion. And now what's gonna happen? Uh, oh, he comes back, yes, see? And now using that distraction, this dude took advantage, came up, and now has the angle again. So it seems to always be, not always, in the bear video and the lion video now, bite there, organize yourself behind it, right? And we could use that in the same way as like forehead there, organize yourself behind it. That's gonna give you an angle, make, makes it harder for me to turn into you and easier for you to attack the side of me where all my weapons point to the front. You get some head snaps there. Okay, so look at his, his right arm here. Grabs and snap down, right? Snap down, snap down, and then cha, 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 bite. Here's the thing about um, any type of combat. So this is really, 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 really real. In order for you to be in a position where you're able to kill the person or kill as an animal, kill the animal, we're talking about like a comp competitive like sport, then like, finish the fight, right? I often use um, killing as finishing, right? But it's just something that I feel evokes the right response um, in my athletes. Don't die and kill them. In order to kill, you have to be, you, you make yourself vulnerable to dying. It is very difficult to win a fight in convincing fashion without making yourself vulnerable to defeat. And if we see what's happening here, like, or lack of sight, you can't really see what's going on at all. It's because the lion who was on top that was doing the head snaps that I was talking about, I believe anyway, like I can't see what's happening, but I believe he's gotten that lion down. He, we saw him take the lion down. And now he's attacking with bites that are meant to finish, right? Which is gonna be the neck, which is gonna be the face attacking the vulnerable places. What does that do to that lion's head? It actually puts that head close to the other lion's head. What can you see? What can you see if your head is down on the ground? Not very much. Say this is like a, uh, a human fight, right? And there's like a, a crowd around and you like took the dude down, you snapped him down, he's on his back and now you're gonna get your head real close to him and hold him inside control. Well, what do you see around you? Nothing, you're looking at the ground. What, what could happen? 
People could come in and kick the crap out of your head that is down at perfect soccer kicking height. All of these, all of these female lions now can swarm in and attack because he's lowered himself. Most of the fighting that we see in order to establish dominance, you must first get over and then pull under. But how do you finish, right? We saw the bears have an interesting way of doing this, I think. The bear would push them down, right, or use their mouth to grab and pull them down. But it didn't seem like they were really trying to bite after they got him on the ground. They were using their paws to pin more than anything. Right, And I know that there's been, at least I've been told anyway, if you're a biologist that studies bears, please weigh in on this. I've been told that when a, when a bear kills a human, oftentimes it's not the bite. It's like they will raise up and stomp down with both of their feet, right? When then, or arms, right? With both of, with both of their front paws, boom, with all that weight coming down and they'll crush the person and then they'll eat them. If you're dealing with something that also has a mouth full of daggers and you're going really close to that mouth full of daggers with your neck in order to get a bite on their vitals, you leave yourself vulnerable. And not only to the attack of your opponent, but also to the attack of other people from the side. So if we're looking at this in a context of grappling, if I take the person down, I still want an elevated position. If I can, I will maintain an elevated position that I can still survey the landscape and see if somebody else is gonna come in and attack me. If I'm a cop and I've put somebody on the ground, I'm not gonna hold them in side control. I'm gonna kneel on them in some way, and that way I'll be able to see what else is going on. Same thing if I'm in the military, right? If I'm in the military and somebody takes me and I take somebody down, I throw them to the ground, right? And we're in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Maybe I've got a knife, he's got a knife, something like that. I'm not going to put my head real close to that dude that has a knife, right? I'm going to keep him as far away as I can using my legs and my lower body to pin and my body weight to pin. And then, okay, now I have my knife I can slice, right? I'm not going to go in and squeeze. I need to be able to see what's around me. And also, I think it's just possibly more efficient way of doing things because you're using more of your body weight than you would if you were just attaching your chest to their chest and now using your arms to squeeze. And I know you don't have to squeeze with your arms, you can just lie your weight on the person, but I still feel that it leaves you much more vulnerable. Even if we're talking about a 1v1 situation, I feel like it leaves you much more vulnerable because the other person can flip you over. It's easier to get over top of a person that is lower to the ground, obviously. The higher up you are, uh, off of the ground, the higher up your head is, the harder it is for the other person to get over you, right? It's just further to go, it's very logical, right? Let's see if this, if these guys can, can make it out of this. It seems like they, they, they had to come up, right? Because of the threats from around, they had to come up and now they're fighting for that dominance again. Who's gonna get, a, who's gonna get above, who's gonna get above? Head grips, pulling down, head grips, pulling down, bite high up and pull down. And I think this is where it kind of goes into the trees and gets obscured and we can't really see what's going on anymore yo these females are not having it they are not having it at all that's not a fun time whoa man it's like look at that slice look like almost cut his nose right off how close are these people? That would be, because you can hear him talking in the background, like how close are these people? Oh, and then this dude's just like, yeah, I win. I win, bro, look at that dude's face. I whooped him. Who's the king now? Yeah, that's not a fun fight there, buddy. I wonder if he was the challenger, if he was the, 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 the champion already. Because there has to be a challenger and a champion, at least, at least as far as I understand, like lions and their behavior. Oh, and then that dude was getting some. He's like, hey, I win, I get access. Dun, dun, dun. Doof, 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 doof. And the Cubs are like, yeah. Oh, so it must have been the champion. It must have been the, 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 the reigning king that took home the victory because look, there's still pups kicking around and all happy. So why, why were the lions biting both of them? Why were the female lions biting both of them? That's weird. Okay, so maybe this one had some lions and was just trying to take some some females and was just trying to take over another pride. It's like, I have mine, but I want yours too. So I'm gonna kill you and take them. That's Earth. Earth is a crazy place, man. If you don't believe it, just watch animals because they are savage, straight savage. Humans are also animals, so we are also 
quite savage. That was wild. Okay, so very similar to how bears are fighting, minus like uh, the, the the female backup. Very similar, right? Like um, didn't seem like they had as much of a strategy on the bottom though. Uh, we didn't, we couldn't get real close in because of the uh, the brushes, the bushes that were in the way. But it's really like who can get on top, right? This one comes up, this one comes up. We battle, try to get an angle, and then down to the ground. But then it was like real close on the ground. So give the, 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 the crowd a vote, right? They can come in and start attacking and then they got to kind of back off and then they do this over thing again. With the bears, we really saw that the, the bear that was on the bottom would really be trying to use it, it's, all of its weapons against the, the, the bear that was on top as well. Like it would try to keep him in front of his legs and the other bear was like really like passing the guard, like passing the guard and then standing on the person. Like very similar to how I like to do jujitsu, lots of, lots of arm posting or jujitsu. I'm not sure it's jujitsu anymore. Maybe we should just call everything grappling. Yeah, the way I like to grapple, I really like to use like long frames. I, I don't like to get too close to the person if I can help it. If you haven't seen the way I'm grappling, you can always check out the, the video that we posted uh, of this tournament that I did, this no gi tournament, which I'm going to do more of that. Uh, the next tournament I'm going to do is gi. I was hoping that it would be coming up in a month here. Unfortunately, they've pushed it back to like June, which is super whack. So I'm trying to find another one and then maybe I can do that. But yeah, super, super interesting. Interesting. Really, really, really interesting. The next thing I think we're gonna do is look at some look at some smaller animals, right? Uh, I think the the honey badger is very notable. I think that the the wolverine is also very no notable. I'm also really interested in in, in how, how a snake would grapple, and I've heard that dolphins are, are really good fighters as well. Actually, like they're they're much smarter way they they use their bodies in a much smarter way than a, than a shark would somebody put that in the comments i thought that was interesting so we'll check that out even though they might not have as much connection to what we're doing as they're in water and we're not they have flippers we have arms and legs but i think it's still super interesting and i'm sure there's something that we can take from it look forward to that we are gonna we're gonna be looking at some smaller animals next okay uh if you like this content obviously subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you get our stuff right when it comes out and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon peace out